Okay, in this video of um, our Moodle training, we're going to talk about setting up what we call a drag and drop onto image um, test question. This can also be used as a worksheet and as a quiz. So what you want to do is from a course, you can have it as a quiz, you can have it as a um, activity or anything else like that, but we're going to create it as a quiz. So we need to turn editing on. Once editing is turned on, we can either add an activity or resource and select um, qu the quiz, which you have to look on your own list because sometimes it's different, but we can select the quiz and click Add. Once we click Add, we can give it a name. It can be quiz, it can be worksheet, it can be um, activity or whatever, but we're still going to use the quiz tool. Remember, quiz does not just have to be a test or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say activity, label, picture. Okay. We're not, I'm not going to worry about anything else like this right now, but remember normally you have to give it a grade category. You need to give it some open and close times. Um, to, again, this is all going to vary. So I'm going to say save and display because I actually want to show more how to create the question type than to go through all of the quiz settings in this video. So we're going to click um, edit we're going to click edit quiz because there's no questions yet and again quiz can be basically anything so I'm going to add a question I'm going to add a new question and what we're going to do is we're going to choose drag and drop onto image click add okay Question name, remember, does not show uh, to the students, so again, this is more for you, so I'm going to say, I'm actually going to use a picture of a gas furnace here, and if you do more than one, um, you may want to say, like, one, two, three, four, okay? And then what you want to do, this is what the students are going to see for directions, so we're just going to say, drag and drop the part name onto the correct spot on the picture or we'll say onto the picture in the correct spot. Now the next thing we have to do is choose an image. Now earlier today just to get ready for this I downloaded a picture of a gas furnace I put some arrows into it okay so I'm gonna go to my downloads directory and I'm going to select my gas furnace and I'm going to click open and I'm going to upload my gas furnace picture. Now it's really important picture size. You have to have the size smaller than the iPad screen. Try to stay with picture sizes about 500 by 500 or at least under 600 as any one dimension. Remember you have very small real estate to work with and you don't want students to have to move the image around their screen. Okay as soon as you upload the file a preview of that file will show up. Okay now at this point I suggest you come down to the bottom and click Save Changes and Continuing Editing. Let it update. Don't just save changes down at the bottom. Again you want to do the save changes and continuing editing which is right there now the next thing we have to do is create our text okay our draggable items so from draggable item one change the type to draggable text and do that for all of your um, for all of your draggable text items in this case I only have three so I really only need three items okay um, you can have, you can always have up to, um, you can have as many as you want. Just realize again, screen real estate on the iPads. Okay. So what we do is we just put the name of whatever part you want to identify. So in this case, we're going to say the, I'm going to say air filter. Then I'm going to say, I have a burner manifold.
and I have a blower motor. Okay, and I'm also going to say shuffle drag items each time question is attempted. Okay, because I don't want them to show up in the same order every time. So now we have our draggable items. Once you have those entered, I want you to come down again and click Save Changes and Continuing Editing. This process makes sure you don't lose anything if by chance we lose an internet connection. Once you do that Save Changes and Continuing Editing, you're going to click Drop Zones. Okay. Now, your Drop Zone 1 is going to be your draggable item 1. So from this list, you need to select each one of your draggable items. You'll see as you select them, they show up under your image here. So again, when we came down here, there wasn't... You'll see right now we have air filter and burner manifold. As we drop them, they show up right here. Your question is still not ready for the student to see. You need to take that like air filter or whatever your draggable image and you need to drop it into the file or in the correct place on the image, okay? So again, we're going to take that. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to take that and I'm going to drop it. In other words, we're telling it where it should be when the student is done with this. And again, I'm going to now come down. I'm going to click Save Changes and Continuing Editing. I'm not done yet. Okay. Do not forget your points. We have three items there, so I usually give that a three point. Now, before you do anything else and just save changes, click Preview. Because you want to make sure that this works. So this is what the student would see. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and you see that this is no longer the same item. We're going to go ahead and make sure it drags and drops. Okay, mine turns blue for some reason as you drag and drop. The students will not on the iPad. It's just for some reason selecting as I'm doing this. Okay. Now, we know they dragged and dropped. I'm going to say fill in the correct responses just to... Okay, make sure that they ended up in the right place. When you're done, you can just close the preview. Okay, once you are totally completed, click Save Changes. Okay, and there's your drag and drop image number one. So again, it comes down to is you have to first create a quiz, name it whatever you want. It can be an activity, it can be whatever you want it to be. Find a picture you can use. Okay, I like using images.google.com for pictures because you can, in images.google.com, I can put whatever I want in, like oil furnace. Okay, and I can usually come down and I can basically find a, a lot of decent images on stuff like that. And it doesn't have to be HVAC, it's just an example that I know. Okay, and then you save the image out. Again, when you hover over the image, you can find sizes. And that's sort of really important. You see the 290 times 300 there. This one's a little big, 653 times 600. Okay, you really want to stay like under the 600 point for either of those two numbers. And I think that just about covers it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me via email.